Hey, this is Pastor Jay Lee, and you're listening to the Daily Sabbath Podcast. Isaiah chapter 2, verses 2 through 4. In the last days, the mountain of the Lord's temple will be established as the highest of the mountains. It will be exalted above the hills, and all nations will stream to it. Many peoples will come and say, Come, let us go up to the mountain of the Lord, to the temple of the God of Jacob. He will teach us his ways, so that we may walk in his paths. The law will go out from Zion, the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. He will judge between the nations and will settle disputes for many peoples. They will beat their swords into plowshares and their spears into pruning hooks. Nation will not take up sword against nation, nor will they train for war anymore. With the tragic and horrific scenes coming out of Afghanistan, our inclination is to try and assign the blame to somebody, whether it be this administration or that administration, this group or that group, we're always looking for the scapegoat. And while there is an important place for accountability, it ultimately fails to provide any real solace. Because the conclusion at the end of it is that this world, the nations, humanity, are tragically and hopelessly broken. Sometimes with darkness and suffering of this magnitude, all that is truly appropriate in response is to lament, to sit in ashes and deep sorrow. But in Christian lament, we mourn and acknowledge the brokenness we see in the world and ourselves, but also we cling to the promises of God, which are the only real hope for restoration and healing for the nations. We cry out for the day of the Lord when the Prince of Peace will reign. We cry out for the day when the nations will beat swords and spears into plows and pruning hooks because they will never again train for war. Christian lament reckons honestly with the harsh realities of the world, dispelling any illusions we might have about its spiritual condition. But ultimately, Christian lament has a trajectory towards hope, the only true hope this world has, a Savior from above. If you would like more information about how you can help, we've included a list of organizations in the episode description. For more Daily Sabbath content, please be sure to follow us on Spotify or wherever you get your podcasts. And you can also follow us on our Instagram account, Daily Sabbath.